Hello YouTubers, I'm Paris and this is our 15th video in Python 3 programming language uh, and our first video in object-oriented programming concepts in Python. So in this video, uh, in the first we are going to introduce some concepts like uh, what are classes, what are objects and uh, after that I will open my PyCharm ID and I will show you the practical example of uh, creating classes and objects in Python. So, first of all, uh, Python is an object-oriented programming language. Uh, what it means that we can solve a problem in Python language by creating objects in our programs. Uh, in this video, particularly in this video and in our uh, first object-oriented video, uh, we are going to discuss some OOPS concepts such as what are classes, what are objects, and, uh, uh, and also I'm going to show you that uh, how you can create uh, your first how you can create your first class in Python uh, now uh, there are some more principles on object-oriented programming such as inheritance polymorphism uh, abstraction uh, encapsulation so we will not cover these uh, topics uh, in this video in this video, just we are going to cover how you can create class and how you can create objects. So, first of all, uh, what are objects? Uh, there are two definitions for the object. Uh, the first one is objects in real world. So, objects in real world are some things that we can sense, feel, and manipulate. So, uh, you can look around you now and uh, we can see many examples of real world objects. For example, your dog, your cat, or a human, human being. Uh, these real-world objects share two characteristics. So the first one that they all have attributes, and uh, the second one is that they all have behaviors. For example, if we uh, suppose a dog, uh, have uh, dogs have attributes like name, color, and breed, hungry, and also dogs have behaviors like barking. Uh, fetching and also slobbering. So if we, uh, for example, if we pretend a person uh, for the attributes, we can tell that a person uh, have uh, a name, color, uh, skin color and like this. Also for the behavior, we can tell that um, a person can uh, walk, can talk or can eat. Uh, now, uh, this was in real world, but in software development, uh, the definition of an object is not so very different. Uh, in software development, objects are not typically some things that uh, we can pick up, uh, sense, or feel, but they are models of something that can do certain things and have certain things done to them. Uh, formally, uh, an object we can tell that in software development an object is a collection of data and associated behaviors. Uh, now what's class? Uh, a class is a blueprint for the objects. Uh, also a class is a way of organizing information about a type of data. So a programmer can reuse elements when making multiple instances of that data type. For example, if uh, you are a programmer and you have uh, a class, uh, for example, a class car, and you want to create uh, three instances of the car. Uh, maybe you want to create a BMW, a Ferrari, or a Ford. Now, for every instance, uh, you will have uh, uh, different attributes. For example, uh, maybe uh, there are different models, and maybe there are different colors. So this was a simple uh, introduction to class and objects. Now we are going to open our uh, PyCharm ID and I'm going to show you the practical example of creating uh, uh, classes and objects in Python. Okay guys, uh, now this is my PyCharm ID and I'm going to create a new Python file. Uh, right click my Python and I call it my class. So uh, for creating a uh, classes in Python it's so simple you can just write a class and after that you write your class name 
so uh, my class name for example I want to give it my uh, class and uh, you can now now after this in here you can write your instruction but for right now I'm going to just write pass because I don't want to create something right now so now we have created our first class and uh, now uh, we want to create the object of the this class so creating object is so simple so let me create uh, the first object I call it uh, uh, class 1 and my class so this is my first object and let me create another object class 2 and I call it my class so now if I print my these two objects uh, print class 1 and also let me print uh, class 2 okay now we have created objects of two classes and we have printed let me run it so now you can see uh, we have received uh, uh, two objects of our class so this is the first object of my class that is located in this memory location address and this is my second object that is located in this uh, uh, in this memory location so you can see that the uh, memory address locations are different so this was our first uh, simple class but uh, uh, now we have a basic class uh, but it's useless uh, because it doesn't contain any data and it doesn't do anything uh, what do we have to do to assign uh, some attributes to a given object so let me uh, uh, show you that how you can assign <coughs> attributes for this uh, in here uh, let me remove this and I want to create a new class uh, I'm going to create a class employee so this class employee uh, right now I'm going to just pass this uh, I want to uh, let me create some uh, objects so mp1 uh, employee so let me create another object and uh, employee okay now this is our two objects I want to assign some attributes to my this object for example amp one dot first name so I want to give it for example my name and emp one dot uh, email I want to give it an email or uh, you can give it pr at gmail.com and also you can give uh, emp one dot uh, salary so salary for this I can give it like this okay uh, now this is our uh, first object let me copy this and uh, create uh, assign these attributes for for my second object so like this and I am going to change this to John and change the email to John at gmail.com and also change the salary okay uh, we have a uh, now you can print this let me uh, print uh, you can simply print and let me print first name so first name and, uh, and you can give it uh, employ uh, mp1 dot first name and uh, let me bring it in here okay now let me just print up the salary for of object 2 so salary uh, and you can in 2 dot salary so also convert the salary to a string because it is integer let me convert this and now okay now I'm going to print this Uh, okay now you can see that for the first name I have uh, this first name this is from the my first object and uh, the salary is from my second object so now uh, we have successfully uh, assigned uh, assign some uh, attributes to our objects uh, 
after this uh, uh, now uh, uh, these are some attributes uh, giving attributes is a good idea but uh, in object oriented programming uh, uh, object oriented programming is really about the interaction between objects so we are interested in invoking actions and behaviors that cause something to happen to those attributes so in this video uh, in this section I'm going to show you how you can uh, create some behaviors uh, or methods to our classes uh, now I'm going to remove all and let me create a new class so I call it class employee and uh, <coughs> now I'm going to create a diff a full name so uh, now uh, this is uh, uh, when we are going to create uh, a method in our class uh, we need to give self because the self argument uh, the self argument is uh, simply a reference to the object of that method that method is being invoked so now uh, let me uh, self dot first name and let me give it a name and cell dot last name like this and now uh, this is our class let me create an object of this so in p1 and I call it employee this is my object and in p dot full name and let me print in p dot first name and also in p1 dot last name okay uh, now let me run it okay now you can see we have this name uh, my first name and also my last name so uh, now in this section I'm going to show you how you can add uh, for example you want to add uh, arguments in your methods uh, so now I'm going to show you how you can add this so let me remove this class and let me create a new class employee uh, you can do you can give object in here there is no problem by default when we are going to create a um, uh, class it inherit from object so now let me create a method so full name and in here I want to give some arguments so first name and also last name now in here I'm going to solve dot last name make it to the last name and solve dot first name and make it first name okay now we need to print this so print uh, first name plus last name okay uh, now let me create object so in p1 I want to create employee object and now you can simply uh, call your uh, function or method so dot full name and in here you need to add your two arguments so let me add uh, a name John do okay now let me run it now you can see we have received John Doe let me uh, create another object so in p2 uh, employ and now I can in p2 dot full name so let me write my name and let me run it Now you can see I have received my name. So uh, thank you guys. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel.